Cannon, and I've been a loyal customer of Little Shop of Comics for the last 20 plus years. Um, when I read those words that Little Shop of Comics was closing down their brick and mortar store, I was floored. Um, I didn't realize that they were going to an online model so they'd still be around, but the shock was just overwhelming for me because for the last 20 years, Little Shop of Comics has been an important part of my life. At first, it was just a casual customer. I'd go in there, buy comics, buy toys, whatever they had. Um, but over time, I became a customer. Um, I joined the Fiber First Legion back in 2009. And a couple of years later, I walked into the little shop and said, hey, you guys do free comic book day. Do you want us to show up there? And they said yes. So we gave it a try. And we had a great time. Um, had a nice thing, had a nice turnout. Um, and we just basically kept coming back and coming back. And then I, when I switched over to being a supervillain and a G.I. Joe, we'd bring those people in. And we'd have 30, 40 people coming out to the Little Shop of Comics. Um, and it was just a fun time. Um, and they took care of us. They really, I mean, they looked out for us. They gave us comics. They gave us food. And over the years, Steve and Lena and I and my groups would get closer and closer. And we're, we're a big family now. And we keep, we, we're doing a free comic book day and um, Wonder Woman Day and Superman Day and Batman Day and Captain Cold Day, which I'm still waiting for. And just trying to have, and we were just having fun. And at one point, I, I released a book called Anatomy of a Cosplayer, which about cosplay. And it was the appropriate place to have a book release at Little Shop of Comics. Um, they opened this store up to us on a, on a Saturday night, had all our cosplay friends over, or real, or real friends. They opened their store up to us. Um, for, for the book release, and we had a great time. We had um, DJ Batman at, at Universal, and we just, it was, a, it was a fun time, and I don't think we could have had a better time anyplace else. It was a good day, um, and we've had plenty of those days. I mean, that was a great, that was like the top of the day, but all the free comic book days and things like that were just a, a fun time, and even on a weekly trip, it was like, I would run into the shop on like a Wednesday or Thursday after New Comics came in, and I'd find my friends there um, from all over New Jersey. Um, they, they would come in because they, they got introduced on Free Comic Day and they kept coming back because they treated us well. There was a small local news story about a um, little shop closing, but it was, it was like this big. There was nothing substantial in there. And they, they deserve a big send off. Um, so I wanted to do this video. And if you stay till the end of the video, you'll see what I mean. So I decided to make this video as kind of a testament to how important Little Shop of Comics was to our community. Um, the first part is I'm gonna be interviewing Steven Olson, um, the co-owner of the store. His wife, Lena, also a co-owner and very integral to this comic shop experience, was a little too shy to be on camera. He'll give us a little bit of history of the store and what led up to him deciding to close the brick and mortar store. All right, let's get going. How did Little Shop of Comics start? So Little Shop began probably when I was probably about nine, ten years old. And maybe not the name Little Shop, but the concept of wanting my own store. As a kid growing up in Brooklyn, we used to go to used bookstores to get our comics. And the folks that ran them were uh, less than enthusiastic about 10 year olds running around the bookstore. Um, so that's conceptually that how it, it happened. And then as a, my friend and I growing up, we collected comics together. We both got married. After we got married, we both got back into collecting. And we both were supposed to be business partners in opening the store, but thankfully it was just me and he bowed out because they say don't mix business and friends. How did you settle in Scotch Plains? So we had moved out from Brooklyn to South Plainfield and I went to a store, New Wave Comics, a woman named Bernice owned it. And we talked all the time, you know, and stuff like that. And I kind of mentioned to her, that I was kind of interested in having my own store. And she says, oh, damn, you should have told me two weeks ago, someone in Scotch Plains had just sold to someone else. Well, those folks lasted about four months and then they approached me and said, do you want to buy the place? So I bought it from them in uh, 1995. 
how are things different today than 1995? Um, back in 1995, this is, I'd say there's definitely was more readership in 1995, even though in 1995, we're in the middle of a kind of like a boom of speculation. Um, but there was still a lot more readers. I feel like that's kind of uh, dwindled over the years. Um, I've also seen a growth of graphic novels, so people have kind of switched format. Um, so instead of comics reading, people read graphic novels, waiting for the contained story. Um, and also how our society is moving to a cashless society. <laughs> What's the best part of the business? When the kids come in for their first comic, it's really cool. Unfortunately, uh, the price of comics nowadays are pretty high and, you know, so they can't buy as many as they you know, used to and the dollar doesn't go the way it used to. But um, it's fun to be able to get a kid into the comics and get point them to the right direction of something they'll like. How does Free Comic Book Day help, help that? So Free Comic Book Day helps in the fact that it gets comics out there. It's probably the single best thing that's happened to comics in... 50 years is that or at least since things started sliding off the um, newsstand shelves you know um, and just became only into comic stores it gave notoriety to comics kind of in conjunction with the marvel movies coming out the dc movies coming out but it also alerted folks to the fact hey comics are still here so it, it's it's a great day it's a for us it's a, a marketing thing it's the ability to just introduce people to comics and you know the kids, it's all about the kids all about getting them to read and enjoy themselves reading you know and giving them a break from their devices and the pressure of being on their devices all the time what are the downsides of owning a comic shop especially the last few years let's see it's what happened to everybody right the pandemic um so that was a challenge for us um like every other retail operation large and small to be quite honest with you uh we were faced with being shut down in the state of Jersey um, and having to figure out how to, you know, basically, you know, make sales, put food on the table, so to speak. Um, so um, as the hipsters say, we pivoted to an online store and um, Shopify bailed us out. So we were able to um, cobble a way to get our store online. And um, we were able to generate some business during the lockdown. Um, and then when we started coming out of the lockdown, we kept that going, um, which just added a little bit more time to the, the work week, actually a lot more time. Um, so everything was kind of going pretty good, you know, and, and as you know, uh, this year in August, the Ida hit. So we got hit with that, kind of wiped out some of our inventory, some of our high profile inventory. Um, and then a couple months later, we had the car drive into the building. So it's been, uh, a bit of a challenge the past year and a half, you know, but, uh, we, we stuck it out. We, we worked hard, worked through it. So why did you decide to close the physical store and go online? But in the course of that whole thing, we realized too, that, you know, um, we were all going to lose a little bit of quality of life with the COVID and, um, not being able to go places, go visit family, you know, go on vacation, enjoy ourselves. Um, so we made a plan to, that we were gonna close up the shop at the end of 2021, so we could kind of enjoy life. Every small business that you walk into, those folks are working, not just those hours they are open, they're working lots of hours after and before, um, us included. What you see on the floor is, everything's hunky-dory, everything's running smoothly. They're in the back room and this is where all the madness happens and everything that's out of control. But everything on the floor, you or come into the store, you're like, oh, wow, it's great, awesome. And it seems to run smoothly. But in the back, there are pints of blood being spilled. <laughs> where can people find you online now? We're on the web at littleshopofcomics.com. We are also going to be offering the option for a warehouse pickup. We'll get back to you on that. We also still buy comic books. Steve buys comic books, I assure you. You can contact me at steve at littleshopofcomics.com or on the phone at 908-322-9402. What will you miss most about the physical store? Oh, definitely the interactions. 
with folks. Um, I've said this to folks who come in all the time, you know, yourself included. We see you more than almost all of our relatives, you know? Um, so um, I just think of it that there are some folks that come 52 times a year because new comics come every, every week, right? So we've made friendships on that. So we're hoping that, you know, we'll still stay in touch with folks and everything like that. But the personal interaction is definitely gonna be missed. But we're just hoping everybody understands that, you know, this is this is our moment. This is our time to shift, you know, and it's it's not being done for anything other than us to have a better life. So there you go. Now, if you're a casual viewer of this video and you've never been to the Little Shop of Comics, don't know anything about them, you can turn off now because the rest of it may not be too interesting for you. But if you've been around Little Shop of Comics, um, a few of our friends wanted to say some things to Lena and Steve and Melissa, and this might be a little personal, um, but it, it, it's all from the heart. Hi, Steve and Lena. Uh, I got to tell you, I was so bummed to hear about the storefront closing and no new books to, uh, to support my addiction. <laughs> of comic books um but i'm very happy that you're able to now enjoy life and and reap the benefits of, of being a business owner so so good for you uh a big shout out to melissa as well she's always been awesome to uh to see at the store and really make some great recommendations and and i know my uh, my daughter appreciates uh her babysitting uh grogu uh while my daughter can't be there so thank you for that you guys have been a staple in the community and you know i just discovered you through hannon um you know a couple years ago uh you know up until that point i was still buying my comics online and so it was nice to go back to a comic book store um, comic book stores are a rare thing these days and and it was always special to come to your shop every week and, and pick those up and explore and discover new things uh, so i'm gonna miss that um you know and no one will ever compare to the little shop of comics in Scotch Plains and the service that you all provided. So we're gonna miss you. Thank you for everything and enjoy your uh, your your digital venture. Hey, Little Shop. Um, I heard the news, I saw your posts, and I, I just wanted to say congratulations on this new chapter. It is, it's gonna be really hard for the community to do uh, without a physical Little Shop there. Um, but you guys always provided an incredible service. You had folks like me down to cosplay and celebrate events. It, it was always such a wonderful, just loving place to be. And I know that you have plans for, for this new phase and it sounds great. Most importantly, you'll be together as a little nerd family and you'll keep in touch with you know with the rest of the community in the way that you can it's wonderful news so best of luck to you from amber i just wanted to say uh, thank you for all those years that uh, you gave back to the community and running the little shop and all the good times we had with uh, the hero clicks events and you really uh, uh, put a tremendous amount of time and effort and love and energy into the store <clears throat> and uh, everybody appreciated the that uh, you provided a a uh, place where you built up a community for um, Hero Clicks and many other um, games and uh, really created a, an amazing uh, uh, venue. So thank you. Hi, this video is for Steve, Lena, and Melissa from Little Shop of Comics. Uh, we wanted to thank you guys uh, for the years of fantastic service that you've provided. Also, the, the fact that- For being that, awesome. <laughs> for being awesome and uh, pretty much becoming like family. We enjoyed every time that we came down to the comic book shop. You always made us feel welcome. It was nice to catch up and also to do events and help out with uh, Free Comic Book Day and uh, some of the charity work that we've done with the 501st as well as the Legion of Supervillains. And we wanted to thank you for being the unofficial secret layer of the Legion of Supervillains. Uh, we are going to miss the store, but we uh, are going to use your online service and uh, hopefully keep in touch and we wanted to make sure that you guys have a, 
a great future in your new uh, endeavor. And uh, we hope to see you all again. And we just wanted to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you, and we'll miss you guys. Good luck. Yeah. Hi, it's Brian Chang from the 500 First Legion. When I first heard that Little Shop of Comics was going to be closing, uh, I thought that it was terrible news until I, until I read a little bit more and learned that Steve and Lena were finding the life balance that a lot of us, myself included, struggle with on a regular basis. So I'm extremely happy for them, and I wish them all the luck, uh, all the luck in their new venture. And I'm, I'm glad that they are able to take uh, Melissa along with that and, uh, and and make her a part of this new, this new chapter of their business. Um, Little Shop of Comics is very important to me on a personal level because... That is actually where my journey in the 501st started. Uh, I had known about the Legion for years, and I just randomly saw that they that they were going to be uh, trooping at Little Shop of Comics for Free Comic Book Day. So I made a point of coming down, and to make a long story short, six months later I was a member, and some of the people that I met that day are st still very good friends to me to this uh, to this day. Um, whenever I had the opportunity, I would, uh, I would troop there for a free comic book day or, or other, other events that they had there. And I'm really going to miss going to the, going to the shop and, uh, and seeing the folks there. But, you know, I couldn't be happier that they are, that they're doing what's best for them. And, uh, and good luck, good luck, Steve, Lena, Melissa. I'm, I, I am going to miss you guys. I just wanted to thank the Little Shop for all they've done for the community over the years. I'm so happy to take part in all of these events with Free Comic Book Day, Harley Quinn Day, and getting to know you guys and the Scratch Union community. Thank you for all of your hard work, and I wish you good luck on your future endeavors. Hey guys, it's Dave from Garden State Comic Fest. I just wanted to take a moment to wish Steve, Lena, and Melissa, and everybody else over at Little Shop of Comics the very best in their future. Uh, it's because of shops like this that so many people have become fans of comics over the years. And it's because of shops like this that so many people have stayed in the comics over so many years. Um, it, it, it's sad to see a shop go, but I look forward to seeing what the future holds for them. And hopefully uh, you'll be able to see them soon at Garden State Comic Fest as well. So good luck, guys, and uh, see you guys soon. Wow. What, what can I say about Little Shop of Comics that hasn't already been said? They are the best. Steve and Lena would always take care of me, um, get me anything I needed, Kiss stuff, Batman stuff. They were great. Steve went above and beyond one time to get me the, the Batman comic with his, um, you know, his unmentionable outlined, you know, that whole thing. I... I, I We've had so much fun, uh, you know, doing the Batman thing there with the rest of the comic stuff. I mean, it's, 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 I, I personally feel bad that I haven't been able to support them as much as I could have. Um, I wish there was more that I could do. Um, my, my, my comic habit has definitely gone back down from what it used to be when I was younger, but I, I used to go there when when they were in every other location it's definitely going to be sad to see them go um more not so much the shop per se but the people steve and lena again awesome people um i wish you guys the best um i hope everything comes true that you're looking for and i'm gonna miss you guys i hope to definitely see you online when i do the uh, live streams i know that was always a pleasure guys take care and stay safe. Lena and Steve, it's been a pleasure coming to your store every time I was there. Thank you for the advice you gave me when me and Jen were opening up our store. And if anybody gets you on your retail business, just let them know the Twat Waffle Express is ready to just have your back. Enjoy, I wish you guys the best. So long, farewell, and best of luck to you. Would like to take this time to say goodbye to two friends who are transitioning from Brick and mortar to online business. Steve and Lena, best of luck to you. 
and hopefully we'll see each other very soon. Maybe go out to dinner, maybe to a movie, or just hang out. Thank you for all the free comic book days, the lunch, and James's book release party, and all the comics for the children that I teach throughout the free comic book days throughout the years. Thank you. Hey, Lena. Hey, Steve. It's Jill, a.k.a. The Nerdy Bird. Just wanted to wish you both best of luck on your new venture. I know it's a big change. Uh, we go through those sometimes in lives, but uh, I think it's going to be great for you. I think you'll be very relieved once you do it, and I think you guys will have many more years of success. Just know that you were the best part of Wednesdays when I was coming to Little Shop of Comics, and I know you're going to make a lot of people very happy for a long time. Take care and stay safe. Hey, Steve and Lena, this is Keith from The Finest and The Villains. Thank you so much for having us at your shop for Free Comic Book Day. Best of luck in your new endeavor, taking Little Shop online. I didn't have a lot of memories with this shop. The two times that I did go, they treated me like one of their own, and that's always a good feeling. And for that, I would have went there every time. But it's sad to see that they're going to go. I wish them the best of luck in their future adventures and hope to one day see them once again down the road. Thanks for being part of such a cool, awesome comic shop. Hi Steve, Lena, Melissa. I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you. Thank you very much for having Little Shop of Comics available to Legion of Supervillains. Uh, it's meant so much to us all. It was a great home. Uh, I can't wait to see what your future holds and just wanted to wish you the very best. Thank you again. Hey guys, it's Andrew, uh, Andrew Moser. Um, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate all of you at Little Shop. <sighs> Can't get my point across so great in the helmet. That's not the way, but you know what is? Little Shop, Little Shop will always be one of the best stores ever. And you made it that way. You know, it wasn't like every store. You weren't just workers. You care about people and you're our friends. And it's, it's definitely sad to, to see the, uh, physical little shop clothes. Uh, but I still remember the first time I, I met all of you. It was, it was at one of the, the 501st events. And I, I think I was Darth Vader that year. Um, it was just, it's, it's still one of my favorite memories talking to you all, meeting you all, uh, and, and just how much you cared and, and we're so inviting and it was so amazing. And it's because of, of the three of you that I got my nephew. You, you, Little Shop was the first comic book store that I brought my nephew. And now he's 16 and he's in love with comic books and he loves your store. Uh, um, he's very sad that, that you had to close your physical store, but I just want to thank you so much. You're amazing. And I'm so proud to have had the opportunity to know you. Hey, Lena, Steve, Melissa. Um, I just wanted to start off by first and foremost saying thank you. Thank you for all the years that you've allowed me to be a part of the Little Shop family. Um, it's very rare and very hard to find the comic book shop. And when James brought me out there, you know, I, I was automatically transported back to my youth and, you know, going to comic book shops, going through the bins and seeing all the new titles, learning about new titles that I may not even have considered, you know. Um, I didn't get to spend a lot of time there because of my, you know, the travel distance. But, you know, I always felt welcome. And you guys have always been a part of my family, my extended family, my cosplay family, whatever you want to call it. You guys welcome the villains in with open arms, you know, and you know I'm a diehard villain. Um, but I do know that times are hard and times are rough and it's, it's very sad that, you know, these things are happening. But 
I do feel confident and I, I, I do feel happy in a way that you guys are maintaining and you guys are just moving forward in a different way. Um, you're not giving up altogether where so many small businesses have just folded. You guys are choosing to keep your dreams alive and, you know, and keep the little shop name going uh, just in a different format, which I commend you for. I commend you for that greatly. I know it's hard as a business, small business owner myself. You know, it's, it's immensely, immensely hard undertaking to do, but you guys are doing it. You guys have the support of each other. You know, um, you guys are still going to be out there, you know, putting out stuff for us, you know, so we're, we're still going to be able to communicate with you guys and, and get the things that we need. And I just hope and wish you guys the best in your future endeavors. I know you're doing this uh, for many different reasons, um, one of which may be even, you know, to uh, to get your family lives together, to enjoy your lives. You know, we're, we're not getting any younger here. And, you know, as business owners, sometimes we put so much into our business that we forget to put time into ourselves. And so I do hope that you guys are going to take some time. Now, maybe this does alleviate you know, some of the stress of, you know, physically being at the store constantly. Um, and maybe you guys can travel, you know, guys can do whatever you guys want to do and still, you know, maintain the store. Um, again, I will always be one of your biggest fans, one of your biggest supporters. I'm always here if you need me. I will still be shopping through Little Shop online. Um, but uh, I just wanted to take this time to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lean and Steve. Oh, by the way, Steve, we got another thing in common. Remember, we're hip buddies. We're hip. All right. So uh, you guys keep going and keep keep strong. All right. Later. Even Lena it was kind of saddened to hear the news that you guys are closing down the physical shop. But I uh, just wanted to take a minute to thank you for all you've done for the Legion of Supervillains and the 501st over the years and how well you've treated us and wish you... The best of luck with the uh, online endeavor. Hopefully it brings you much success and brings a little more balance to your lives. Uh, working all those hours can't, can't be easy, I'm sure. So, uh, but once again, thank you very much and wishing you the best. Thanks to Steve, Lena, and the entire Little Shop crew for many years of service to the community. I've had the great pleasure of participating in many events there over the years, and I know the shop will be greatly missed by so many of us. Best of luck with all your future endeavors. Now you've heard a lot of people saying a lot of good things about Little Shop of Comics and wishing them luck going to their new and their new endeavor. Um, now you can hear my point. I am still in the anger part of um, grief. Um, I've been going to them for a long time, and frankly, I'm a little bit annoyed that they they were not as and I can't go there anymore. Um, they 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 get this. I've I've told them this. Many times in person, since since I've heard, and you know, yes, I want them to do well. They deserve it. They're great, but you know, they had to put me through a lot of work to find a new comic book shop. It's not an easy job in New Jersey. There's some real, there's some great comic shops in New Jersey, but there are some stinkers. I'm not going to name any names. You guys can pretty much uh, figure that one out on yourself. Um, but yeah, I mean, some stores are run by jerks. Some stores are closed on the wrong days of the week. Some stories are, are hoarders and nightmares where you're afraid to go to the other side of the uh, store. Uh, other stores, um, you walk in and you get ignored for five minutes, even if you're looking for something and looking for somebody. Um, I have to deal with this now. I'm not happy dealing with this. I like to go in a little shop of comics. I knew what I was getting. I knew where I was going. I knew I'd get what I want and, and I could leave. I'm not so sure anymore. I mean, there are, God, don't get me wrong, there are good comic shops in town. Not in town, but in, in New Jersey. But, you know, not as convenient or as likable. I was complaining to one of my friends about this. And he said, you know what? You know why you're having such problems? You were spoiled by Little Shop of Comics. And he's right. Little Shop of Comics was excellent at customer service, selection, they made you feel welcome, and I love that. Not, not every store is going to do that, and that's why I'm that's why I'm kind of mad at them for, for going out of business. Which is why I may show up at their warehouse. You know, I, I, I that's just my again. I'm in I'm in the, the, the anger stage of, of grief. 
So this is why I'm there. I may get to the other, I may get to acceptance one day, but not anytime soon. You hear that, Steve Alina? Not anytime soon. So you don't have to deal with me complaining an awful lot. You may want to change your phone numbers. Good luck to you guys. Take care.